Tonight's attendance, 10,729. Easily the best of the season. Bonja takes it away, flings it ahead. Mullings lays it up for him. Seven point Utah away. An easy bucket for the Aggies finally. Mullings with just four points. Mullings nearly with the steal. Julian Washburn missed. Bonja lost it out of bounds. So he's missed a couple of dunks. Uh, uh, dunks couldn't hold up onto that rebound, but he did spark a fast break yeah. earlier, and they'll put Aronis in and get Bonja some rest and see if he can regroup. Guarantee there's some players in orange asking him about his better team comment right now. Ooh. Aggie nice basketball. Play. Kevin Aronis. Yeah. He just went in for Bonjesi. Yeah. So it's a seven point New Mexico State deficit. Connor didn't like the call, but I thought it was pretty good. It went off of him. You know, just one of those bang bang plays. See if Aronis can do it on the other end of the court now. 11 turnovers for the Miners now. Mullings into Bular, out to DeRuin, a three, they need it, it won't go. Look how high Mullings got up for that rebound. He gives it off to Sim, and he sends it down with authority. It's a five-point minor lead. And the Panamaniacs trying to help spark the day here. If you thought the defense was intense before, watch what's going to unwind here. Under five minutes to play. You tip by five. Bohannon on the baseline, takes it at Bular. Can't get a shot off. Cooper shot blocked by Aronis. And we got a three second violation whistled against UTEP. Good Jeff defense Poinsis. by that man, Kevin Aronis, though, back to back times. So the place explodes as the Aggies get the turnover. It was the block shot by Aronis and a three second call that gave New Mexico State the ball back after the 12th UTEP turnover. So the Miners by five. 441 to play in the game. They cut it to five with the Bular dunk after the Mullings yep. offensive rebound. Yeah, he skied for that one. Boy, yeah. each possession is just gold right now. So the Aggies down five. We'll get the basketball in. Both teams have been called for five fouls, so neither team's in the bonus. The arrow, should there be a tie ball call, is pointing to Mexico State's one. Foul trouble. UTEP's in pretty deep foul trouble. New Mexico State has Mullings with three. UTEP has Bohannon with three. And McKenzie Moore with three, but they've navigated all of the second yeah. half without fouling. But both teams have done done a masterful job of getting in trouble and then being able to play and let the clock kind of catch up to the foul count. Connor Tucker, number 25 there, gave the Miners a lift and a hit a three to get their run going, Glenn, and then yeah. they built a, a nice 48-39 lead, and then NMSU now has had back-to-back buckets to cut it back to five. Yeah, him coming off the bench to me was the change for UTEP. Arona stays in the game for Bon Jesse. So you've got DeRuin, Dixon, Mullings, Aronis, and Bular for New Mexico State. Big position in this game here for the Aggies. Aronis for a three. Got it! It's a second three-pointer of the night, and it's a two-point game. Castillo corner. So UTEP's big lead didn't last long. Aggies have cut it to two, and this place is alive. Aggies in a zone. 12 on the shot clock. McKenzie Moore 
He traveled with it. No basket. McKenzie Moore called for the travel on the shovel pass. Well, and, and Sam Boulard, he, he had to look up and saw him, and I think that may have caused him to stutter step just a bit. 349 to play of the game. New Mexico State on a 7 0 run. They cut it to two. If you're enjoying New Mexico State men's basketball tonight, be sure to join us on Thursday, March 7th, when they host Louisiana Tech in a pivotal whack showdown. That telecast will be live on Altitude, My50 TV, and Comcast New Mexico at 7 o'clock. Visit AggieVision.tv for channels in your area. Aggies trail the Miners by two here in Las Cruces, but they're on a 7 nothing run. There's 3.49 to play in the game. UTEP's four for five from the three-point line in the second half. New Mexico State, three of six. They set Aronis up. And they wanted him in that corner again, didn't they? Yeah, I think he made a wise choice in not pulling the trigger. Down to 17 on the shot clock. Mullings to Aronis, back to Mullings with 12. No seniors on the floor for the Aggies right now. Mullings muscles it up, balls loose, and out of there with it is McKenzie Moore. Mullings kind of forced the issue there and didn't really have a good look at it. So the Miners lead by two and they've got the ball. Looks like New Mexico State sticking with the 2-3 zone. Bohannon out on top. Deep three from Streeter. He missed it. Rebound to Dixon. I was just going to say Tucker is not on the court. Mullings. He'll go to the line. Two free throws could tie it. He's attacking the rack with abandon. And this, I tell you what, the Miners have defensed it pretty well, but they sent him to the line here. Well, and, and, and that's significant because this is a two-shot foul, and the Aggies will be in the bonus from now on after this. Aggies 9 of 17 at the foul line. Now Connor back in now. Mullings 2 for 10 from the floor. 0 for 1 from the foul line. 4 points, 8 rebounds, 4 assists tonight. It's a 1 point. UTEP away. 247 remains to be played. Aggies will start the pressure in the backcourt. Try to trap. Now UTEP will set up the half-court game as the Aggies fall back into a 2-3 zone. Bohannon really wanted it down on the baseline. He thought he had an opportunity. He gets the ball and then kicks it out. Three for Cooper. He drains it. Big three-point bucket in the Miners by four. Nine points for Cooper. Aronis tries to answer. He does! Three three-pointers for Aronis, and it's a one-point game. Under two minutes to play. Kevin Aronis trying to write his name on the history of these two teams battling, isn't he? And notice he's in during the stretch run and sees on the bench. Marvin Menzies going to stick with the hot hand. Bohannon takes it at Bula. Stepping in is Mullins with a steal. Remember that be patient comment earlier? Bucket gives the Aggies the lead. A minute 24 to play, and Marvin Menzies will take the timeout. UTEP 51, New Mexico State 50, a minute 23 to play in the game, and this place being treated to another spectacular battle of I-10. Kevin Aronis tonight's come up huge off the bench for the Aggies. Yeah. Aronis with the right wing three. He was two for his last 10 on three pointers coming into tonight. But tonight, Aronis, Three for five from the three-point line. Timeout's not an issue right now either, Jeff. New Mexico State with two and UTEP with three. But this possession needs to yield something for NMSU. 
Well, there's your hot hand. Yeah. While a three would be nice, it's not necessary either. 51-50 UTEP. 24 on the shot clock as the Aggies will throw it in. Aronis pops out off a screen for the lead. Got it! It's a two-point bucket. 52-51 New Mexico State. A minute seven to play in the game. Timeout UTEP. So UTEP will take the timeout. Aggies take the lead on the Aronis two-point bucket. He has 11 points, and here's another look at it, Glenn. Yeah, like I said, it didn't need to be a three, and he wasn't looking down at the line. He just saw that he had the shot, had the feel, and like every good shooter, that rhythm was right there, and he drained it. Boy, if I would have told you it would have come down to Tucker and Kevin, what would you have told me? They both came off the bench tonight. There's the three-pointers being kept by the Panamaniacs. New Mexico State was six of them. UTEP with five of them. Keep in mind that Cooper's hot for the Miners from out there. He's three for four from the three-point line here tonight. Well, I, I got to salute Sam Boulard just watching him walk down court. He's played over 30 minutes tonight. And, and again, remember, Jeff, not a senior in that lineup right now for the Aggies. UTEP basketball official saying, get out of the huddle, and they do. Bonja on the bench, Arona still in the game for the Aggies. A minute five to play, 52-51, New Mexico State with the lead. Aggies stay with the 2-3 zone. They got to be aware of the shooters. Tucker's Very on aware. the left wing. Of course, UTEP doesn't need a three. McKenzie Moore shoots a three. It was a little flat. Ball's loose on the floor. Arrow points the Aggie way. And Kevin Aronis, along with Ronaldo Dixon, in there on that scrub. 44 seconds to play. Out of the game goes Cooper. Pressure from the Miners, full court. Boy, you know, we got uh, no doubt Trout behind the Aggie bench tonight. Boxing champion, and this has been a toe-to-toe -to -toe boxing battle, hasn't it? Mullings, surrounded by Miners, handling the basketball, gets it across. About a nine-second differential between the shot clock and the game clock. UTEP's gonna play the day, they almost fouled to ruin there. Tim Floyd says go ahead and foul, and Tucker fouls to ruin. Terrell DeRuin, a 67% free throw shooter. He's 0 for 1 at the foul line tonight, and there's 24 seconds to play as DeRuin goes to the line to shoot 1 and 1. I know he had a lot of big free throws at Onate High School, but as a New Mexico State Aggie, this is as tough as they've been. Drains it. Aggies by two, Julian Washburn out, Cooper in. Yeah, well, and, and again, the three-point shooter's coming in, and Terrell can neutralize that with this one. Bonja is gonna come in, get his length on defense. Aronis will get a big hand as he goes to the bench. Aronis should get an outstanding hand. He had a good, good shift there for New Mexico State. Big, big free throw here, Glenn. And he drains it, and it's a three-point New Mexico State lead. And a timeout by Marvin Menzies. New Mexico State has outscored UTEP now 15 to three during this run. And it was all sparked to me by Kevin Aronis. Yes, I mean, remember the defense, not just the shooting, but he had two plays down in the corner over here on defense. So if you're Tim Floyd, you obviously need a three. You're trying to set up a good three-point look. They're well, leading I mean, three-point three shooters three are point Connor shooters. Tucker. And the other one that's really been hitting tonight for the Miners is C.J. Cooper. Yeah. And if you're New Mexico State, you got to defend that three-point line, and then you got to rebound. Yeah. 
And the funny thing about three point rebounds, should they miss when they tend to come out long. Yes. It was 55 54 in El Paso. Here tonight in Las Cruces, it's 54 51, New Mexico State. 24 in 5 tenths seconds to play in regulation. Mackenzie Moore, Jockey Streeter, Connor Tucker on the floor for the Miners, along with John Bohannon and C.J. Cooper. New Mexico State has had trouble inbounding the ball, and I bring it up because they have one timeout left. So in the event they're having trouble with it, they can't take the timeout. But this defense starts it all. Aggies are going to be in a zone. Streeter gives it to Cooper. Cooper pivots out front, gives it off to Moore. To Cooper with 16 seconds to play. Streeter drives inside, kicks out, deep three for Cooper, no good. Rebound to Sim, gets it to Dixon, off to the ruin, to Bon Jesse. he's grabbed. And it's a, an intentional foul. Flagrant foul. Flagrant, I'm sorry, we went through this all last year. Yeah, they changed the rule, but she basically had it right. One of these free throws should make it a ball game as the Aggies with 1.7 seconds to play will have Bon Jesse at the free throw line. Two free throws in the ball. So what a defensive possession by New Mexico State. I mean, a very, very deep three by Cooper who's been hot and he couldn't drain it. Bular with the rebound. And, and, I, and, and they let Connor go through the zone. They, they didn't stay with him. That surprised me. On just see trying to put it away. See with nine points, five rebounds. And he gets that one, and it's a four point New Mexico State lead. I had it at 48 39 UTEP. And New Mexico State has stormed and dominated the last four or five minutes of this game. 16 to three run. Aggies throw it in, DeRuin grabs it. There's the horn, New Mexico State wins. What a ball game. What a comeback. It's what we expected. So Marvin Menzies gets a victory as the Aggie Panamaniacs storm the floor after the four point win over Utah. New Mexico State, 19 and seven on the year. The Aggies have won nine in a row at home. UTEP falls to 14 and 11, two and seven on the road and another battle of I-10 in the books. Yeah, and I don't mean to not give us a chance to take a breath, but Denver and Louisiana Tech on the horizon. So the Panamaniacs celebrate a four point victory here in Las Cruces. So this place is electric as the Aggies come from behind and dominate the last four minutes of this game. And they came from way behind. Marvin Menzies joined us. What a heck of a comeback, Coach Kevin Aronis. Yeah, we wanted to give them a little lead. <laughs> yeah, we had so many fans here tonight, and just to go and blow them out wouldn't have been any fun. So we said, guys, let's let them get up a little bit, maybe eight or nine, and then we'll just then we'll come back and kill them. That was my game plan a little bit. Yeah, it was dramatic. It was dramatic. <laughs> Talk about Kevin Arona. She went with the hot hand, and he delivered. Yeah, you know, Kevin was feeling it, you know, and even the, the ones that he missed early look really good, you know, and his stroke was there, and he's been shooting it well in practice. So uh, the way they were guarding us, I thought it was uh, something where we were going to get an opportunity when we were down to get some good looks, and we did, and thank God he knocked down the shots. That's a great scene. Your kid's going through the student body. Yeah. Uh, best crowd of the year, Coach. How did they help? Oh, man, I tell you what, they helped in a fantastic fashion. The last 4.20 or, or 4.30 of the game, I'm at, I felt like, you know, it was electric in here. It really was. It was a great crowd. I think, I don't have it official, but I think he held them to like three points over the last four, four and a half minutes of the game once they built that big lead. Uh, what do you credit the defense? I know you've switched from man to that 2-3 zone at some points. Yeah, we, well, we needed to give them something different because they were getting good looks and uh, we couldn't guard Washburn. And, Bohannon started to get hot one-on-one. -on -one. I think my bigs got a little fatigued there. So uh, they had struggled a little bit against Southern Miss with the two. 
uh, and the 22 to 2, and, and so uh, full court press back to the half court. So, uh, so we thought we'd give it a shot, and uh, ain't got it worked. <laughs> Felt like these guys really gutted it out tonight because it wasn't looking too good there for a while. No. Uh, talk about Kevin Aronis. We talked about him. We've talked about the change in yeah. defense. I thought that was big. Anything else you thought that was real big in this defensive battle here tonight that we haven't touched on? Uh, you know, I just felt like the overall it was one of those games that uh, was kind of a microcosm of who we are and, right. and, and what the season has meant. You know, we, we've had so many guys that have gone down or been injured and uh, you know, it, it's, you know, tonight, for example, you know, Bonja, Bonja uh, wasn't playing well, and 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 the opportunity for a shooter was there, and, and Kevin came in, and, and and he gets the opportunity tonight, and and he answers the bell. So, you know, uh, no pun intended with with, with, <laughs> Kraut, with Kraut, I mean, uh, Trout there with Austin on the bench. Austin Trout, yeah. yeah, Austin uh, talked to the guys before the game, and he told him, he said, "Hey guys, it may come down the last three or four minutes, but you just got to keep fighting." That and they a, listened to him. That was a physical game. Congratulations Thanks on the win, Marvin. Appreciate it. Yeah. Congratulations to the Aggies. New Mexico State wins the ball game 55-51. There was the big last possession. Aggies get the rebound and right into victory. Back after this.